Education remains the number one imperative for driving Bitcoin adoption. So as a Bitcoin educator myself, I am always really excited to find new tools. And that is why today I am thrilled to be looking at Wiser, an app that brands itself as the Duolingo of Bitcoin. I'm also gonna mention a couple other interesting tools coming as well. Let's jump in. So when I say education is the number one imperative, that is not to suggest that there are not other important things, right? In improving the UX of different apps and wallets, right? Making it easier to use things like the Lightning Network, particularly non-custodially. There's still a lot that needs to be done. There's a lot of financial scaffolding, lots of services. But if you don't have the full repertoire of educational tools and resources, none of that matters all that much. Yes, it is true that a large portion of the globe will probably use Bitcoin and not even be aware of it, but I still think there is a very large gap between where we are now and that future. And when I talk to people day to day, yes, there are some who are like, well, I read one article one time in the Washington Post, therefore making me an expert on Bitcoin. And I heard that it was bad for the environment. Like you obviously have those people out there. But for me, at least in my personal experience, the vast majority are like, well, I just, I just don't know that much about it. Like, I just don't know why I should care or I, you know, I, I don't know. I don't know much about it. And so for those that have been watching this channel for some time, you know that the material and content does tend to be a little bit further out on the learning curve, i.e. it's not necessarily for absolute beginners most of the time. Now, I still do have this playlist that I think is still wildly underloved uh, that does go from first principles, what is money, what is Bitcoin, how does it work, all that. And so, you know, friendly reminder that that does exist. There's a lot of people out there who are never gonna find this channel, who are never gonna watch it, but who maybe even today are using an app like Duolingo to learn a new language, etc. And so enter Wiser, a Duolingo-like app that has these little bite-sized educational modules. As we will see, and it's gonna be less of a tutorial because it's very easy to get started with this and more of just a showcase of what this app has to offer but it has different educational modules starting at the very basics. You can stack sats for learning. There's a leaderboard. This thing is really well put together, really well built, and the content is good as well, which is very important. And so without further ado, I'm just gonna jump in and show you what Wiser looks like, and then we'll come back and wrap things up. All right, so here we have Wiser. This is, of course, the Apple App Store, uh, but you can just see the preview, right? Become an expert in Bitcoin and finance. I like, by the way, that they include kind of finance and, and money and understanding financial markets as well, because that is really central to understanding why Bitcoin's important. This is not just a what is Bitcoin and how it works. So that's super important. And I think that will also help cast a broader net for people who could be interested in using this. Earn Bitcoin daily, withdraw your sats, unlock these loot boxes. You've got, you know, content for both newbies and experts, right? You know, there is some more uh, advanced material here that I think will be interesting for everyone. You can complete quests and challenges and more. Uh, so lots of very cool stuff. I will also link the website, of course, in the description down below so that you can make sure you're getting the right links for either App Store. Uh, let's go ahead and open this guy up. And so we are presented with basically a sign in and or registration page. So you can do that with Google, you can do that with Apple. So let's go ahead and get registered. And so here we go, welcome to Wiser. Join us on a journey of discovery and financial empowerment. Learn how the global economy works from interactive games to fun challenges. You'll have a blast as you level up your financial knowledge and skills. So we've got these, these experience points. Are you ready to put your knowledge to the test? After each class, a quiz awaits. Collect 10 XP for each correct answer. You'll need to use your wits and skills to beat the game and become a true XP hunter. So again, you know, you've got these different layers of gamification. Again, very similar to how Duolingo and other learning apps have done this. You get day streaks, of course, so that helps keep you keep you going. Bonus sats when you hit a streak of 15 or more. Very cool. Okay, so you have hearts. These uh, keep your journey alive. So for every class, if you answer less than five questions correctly, you will lose one of your hearts and they refill at a rate of one each eight hours. So if you run out, you'll need to wait a little. There's loot boxes, when you answer at least five questions correctly, you have a chance to discover a loot box. When you do, the loot box will reveal a secret reward. And there you go. So anywhere from one to 50 sats in a loot box. 
So again, we're not talking crazy Satoshis here, of course, but uh, it adds up. And of course, uh, as you know from watching this channel, every sat indeed counts. And then it has this final, you know, how to start. If you're new to this space, you'll want to start with the basics module. Why does Bitcoin matter? What is a blockchain? What is hashing, et cetera, et cetera. So let's get started. If you were referred by someone, you can enter a referral code and collect some sats. And so I ended up playing around a little bit, as you can see. So you'll be, you'll have no uh, experience points when you start. You'll have 50 sats, uh, but you can see the kind of layout here in the learn tab. You've got these different modules, right? So you got the basics, Bitcoin, Bitcoin innovation, wallets and security, financial markets, Austrian economics, investing in technicals. So very, very cool. And that is then in turn broken out into chapters, which have these different blocks. And when you jump into these different blocks, you can see the content. So we've got some stuff on decentralization with pretty well laid out content, you know, nice little images that help kind of drive the points home. And then you've got the questions themselves where you can earn the XP points. And then if you get at least five questions correct from each round of questions, you have the chance to find a loot box where you can get some extra sats as well. So very cool there. Uh, we are going to leave this here temporarily. So as you accrue XP, you can see that you move from you know level one up to level two and so on. If I tap on my Satoshi balance here, the 57 sats, you'll see that you need to first reach level two before redeeming those sats. You can then withdraw them over the Lightning Network. Keep in mind, as you can see, you do lose a heart for, I guess, jumping out of the questions. So do be advised. Uh, about that. But then you've got a couple of these other tabs along the bottom. So the bite section includes all sorts of different kind of deep dives into topics. What is world coin, commercial real estate crisis, so broader macro stuff, BlackRock, uh, Bitcoin ETF. These are all kind of news bites that come with the paid version of this. And so I'll talk about that in just a moment. Uh, you've got the social tab where you've got leaderboards and different things like that. And then you have a whole range of settings as well. And that make a pledge option is where you can turn on beast mode. You can unlock those uh, bytes, which are sort of premium analysis. It looks like they're going to do live Bitcoin classes, which would be very, very cool. And then you'll see as you go through the quizzes and questions and you answer them, uh, you will see an ad at the end. And then you'll also be prompted for whether you want to do this. It looks like that happens after every set of questions that you do. So it would be nice to maybe have a setting where you could turn that off. But if you wanted to move forward and get those different benefits, you can say support the mission. You've got start my uh, free two week trial. You can see the comparison of what you get for free, which is really the core uh, classes, the core modules. And then for the pledge paid version, you get unlimited hearts, no ads, the byte, uh, the byte classes, and so on and so forth. And you can see the pricing basically works out. If you do it annually, it's about $70. And then if you do it monthly, it is $9.99. So not too shabby there. So that's all I'm going to show for today. Again, I just wanted to do a quick rundown of what is available in the app. Let's come back and talk through a few other topics. All right, so as you could see, very well put together app. And I think this just becomes a very easy orange pill for a lot of us. Yes, I get it. There's still a barrier to going and downloading this app. And there's certainly no guarantee that, you know, once someone uses it, they'll keep coming back. Part of the SAT rewards, you know, can help with that. But I think this just gives us a new and critically important tool that is accessible to a very wide audience. And so I would be curious to hear how things go as you orange pill those in your life, or maybe even use it yourself to stack a few SATs and uh, brush up and sharpen some of your knowledge as well. And then finally, on the broader theme of Bitcoin education, I did want to just spotlight two interesting things. Uh, that I've seen. One is Me Premier Bitcoin. This is, of course, the nonprofit and educational initiative that started down in El Salvador once Bitcoin was made legal tender. And they've now done a few iterations of their classes and curriculum. You have students that have gone through this program and they are excitingly now expanding. And I even think that includes now up into places like the US. Admittedly, you know, they're focusing on places in Central and South America. I was talking to a guy in the in the space, in the community, and 
uh, he mentioned this, so I thought that was really interesting. And so why this is important is it's a more formalized curriculum that could be put into an after-school program, that could be put into uh, an actual, you know, school curriculum of some kind, right? So that I think is yet another really important ingredient. I just wanted to give a shout out to the team who's been doing a ton of amazing work. And then finally, as we know, you know, a formalized curriculum is nice, but increasingly so much of the learning that we do uh, happens through this, right? Through content like YouTube or through tools like we just discussed with Wiser. But then there's also this very interesting project that Alex Svetsky is working on, which is called Spirit of Satoshi. And so this is an AI large language model being built to sort of house the collective knowledge and ethos of, of Bitcoin. I think he just did a conversation with Breedlove on this. So I think you'll see more on this, but that's pretty interesting. Uh, you can go on the website, add yourself to the wait list. It remains to be seen what this will be and how useful this will be. But I think particularly given some of the trends you've seen around people putting a search query on Google to instead using things like Google's Bard or ChatGPT or whatever, people are increasingly going to be asking AI and asking these language models for answers to different things. And so I think that's yet another really, really cool tool to be aware of. Obviously, the value of any such model like that is its ability to really synthesize good information and good knowledge. So the training process for that is very interesting and remains to be seen. Uh, but very, very cool developments on the Bitcoin education front, a space that is near and dear to my heart, of course. But with all that, let's go ahead and conclude today's video. All right, so we talked about Wiser, the Duolingo of Bitcoin, and we also gave a spotlight to Me Premier Bitcoin, some of the great work they're doing around the more kind of formalized Bitcoin curriculum, as well as the Spirit of Satoshi, this AI large language model. But I'm curious to hear, what are your thoughts on any of these topics, or maybe Wiser in particular? Let me know your thoughts down below. Are there other tools that you've used to successfully orange pill people? Share those experiences as well. But I hope you found this valuable and insightful. If you did, you already know what to do. Give this video a like. Use the share feature underneath this video that really does help get this to a broader audience. And again, I think this is a tool in particular that is wildly accessible to a very wide range of audience. And if you were so enamored with this content, you want to donate to a pleb, which really does help me continue to make this content, you can do so in a number of ways. You can use the super thanks feature built directly into YouTube. Although if you are going to donate, I would prefer sats. And for that, you can do that in a number of ways. If you happen to be using the Get Albi browser extension, you can just click that and it'll automatically detect you're watching my channel. You can send some sats that way. That is very cool or I will have my lightning address and strike account momentarily on the final page. But for now, we'll go ahead and leave things here. As a reminder, every sat counts, especially if you can earn them by learning more about Bitcoin. And until next time, my friends, I'll see you then.